People might suggest now that Meghan Markle has a bigger problem than this she very first thought, as she ploughs ahead distributing those pots of jam that allegedly came from her own Montecito garden. The problem, not just with the jam, but let's just have a look at that for a minute. How much strawberry jam have you actually got? Is there a market for that? And can you make more than 50 pots of jam? Again, incredible, isn't it? Really stupidity, because if you're not going to go into a major branded exercise, what are you doing? Just distributing pots to friends and publicising a brand that simply doesn't exist. You see, this is where Megan, a former cable TV actress, is really falling down. And I'm not picking on her here. I'm literally telling you how this game works. I've been in it a long time. And it's, a, <laughs> it's really all about making money. There's two words in show business, show and business. Business is longer. That's the one that people are interested in. Everybody from Simon Cowell, who I've worked for, to Pete Waterman, to everybody, they know exactly the money. It's about the money if you're going into show business. And what's interesting here is that Meghan Markle has had a terrible, shall we say, um, reminder of just how unpopular, some might suggest, she truly is. Let me explain. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me today. Lovely to have your company and welcome one and all brand new subscribers. You know, I like to tell you the background to the stories. People say, oh, you know, Neil, stop waffling on and get on with it. Well, as I've said to you before, if this isn't the channel for you, then, you know, we are friends. I tell you what I know. We then debate it in the comments and we, you know, pass on information. We make chums, all that sort of stuff. Some people I find are incredibly rude, you know, because they just really uh, might as well pick up a, a dollar store or, um, you know, National Enquirer, if that's what you want. I'm telling you what goes on behind the scenes, and this is what it gets interesting, because with Megan, you see, the problem is she owned archetypes, you know, the Spotify stuff. So she does actually retain all the rights to those particular interviews. And if there was anything of any worth in there, you could have actually said that she could have maybe sold them on to documentaries, all that sort of thing. But I didn't see anything that revealing from the likes of Serena Williams or indeed Mariah Carey. Now, as you know, her new deal with Lemonada was that they were going to put that out and they were going to look at it, you know, and then decide exactly how they're going to market Megan. They were going full throttle. Now, as they put these particular episodes out, the real deal was was this. They were looking to see if any people would come along and want to sponsor the brand new series. As I told you before, there was no upfront money, not like Spotify. So they needed a sponsorship deal, a substantial sponsorship deal. None so far was forthcoming. Now, without sounding too negative, what a lot of people do is this. Major sponsors say, well, can you show us a sample? Well, they don't have one, right? So they can't do that. Also, who are the guests? Well, Megan hasn't actually talked them who the guests are so they can't do that and also on top of that they want to see mainly if you put one or two three episodes out how they rate and is there a marketplace and does it fit their brand because money's tight in the world of marketing and advertising it's as simple as that and for Megan herself to find out that the archetypes original wasn't this great opportunity to revisit a landmark series as her team was spinning and pointing out well that's now become another problem whether you shift it to next year or not money will be even tighter we could have brand new people in power and things could be very topsy-turvy I would have plowed ahead with this knuckled down got on with some work and tried to get that particular project going but as we've seen so many times Megan loses interest alongside Harry they're not used to work he's not used to work trust me and the other side of it is well what do we do now hopefully they're going to rake some money in from Netflix but how long truly will that last and will them and finally, will Lemonada decide to squeeze Megan dry or simply move on and cut their losses? It's going to be developing. It's going to be interesting. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.